Welcome to the Car Guy channel and our next project. So let's check out the vehicle that we're gonna do next and go through all the features, what we need to do, what is the damage, uh, what we need to do is inspect the car. We ordered already some of the parts, let's see what we have, what we're still missing and uh, see where we can get started. So the fender is damaged uh, and it's been removed, it has some damage, it's not too bad, we'll see, I'm not sure if we're going to replace it or get a new one um, or fix it. And then the hood, the hood will likely need to be replaced, there's a lot of damage on the hood uh, and it's aluminum, so it's not something that you can repair easily. Now for the frame, the first thing that we'll be looking at is the frame, the, this front bar, there's a crack right here going through the front bar, so the hit was from this side. Um, and as you go through and look at this bar, it's a little bit dented right here on top. So you can see that how all of it is straight, but here it's a little more dented. And then as you look on the other side, the other side is not damaged. Looks good. You can also see the space right here. As you can see between the, the frame rail and the ending, if there's an impact, this piece will come much closer. Um, and the other point you should look at is right here, the um, radiator support, all these parts, see how much space is here between these two parts. So as you can see here, there's quite a bit of space, almost my, my full hand uh, fits in here. And then let's look on the other side. You know that this side is pushed in the bar because you can see it's in contact with this piece. On the other side we had a big gap, but here it's in contact. Then we also see the bottom bar got pushed in, so there's damage to the bottom bar. And this bar is supported by a bracket right here, and you can see the damage to the bracket, where all of this is damaged and is not straight. So if you look this way, you can see how it's kind of distorted. And then if you look on the other side, there here it's nice and straight. So we know that little bracket, all these pieces, the bottom support will need to come out, we'll replace the top support as well. Um, and then they're not cheap but not too expensive either. And then of course, as you can see this piece, it's right in contact with the wheel. So it's definitely is pushed in, pushed in too much. And you can see where a lot of the hit and energy got dissipated that the impact went into this piece and it's all distorted it got pushed out and again to compare to the good side it's nice and straight on this side so this piece is nice and straight there's no damage there's plenty of space between the wheel but on the other side all these pieces are distorted and got really pushed in you see, so it's in contact with the wheel. So this piece, this big piece, will get uh, replaced. We'll have to replace it. And in addition to that, we're going to replace the top bar. It's not that damaged, but because all of it got pushed in, likely it's distorted as well. So, and you can see that the impact, because the hood was hit on this part, the impact went to this piece as well. Uh, like these pieces, they're distorted, damaged as well. So we're just going to replace it. Um, and then, of course, all the plastics, so all the vents, as you can see, these vents are broken. So all the vents need to be replaced, the grill, um, there's shutter vents, upper and lower. There's an upper to go here, lower they go right here. That's missing the bumper, of course, and all the attachments of the bumper, uh, all the sensors. So that has been uh, heavily damaged. So we'll have to replace those. Other than that, this fender looks really good. There's no damage. Uh, small scrapes and scratches, but as you can see, this whole car is covered with protective film. So any of these little scratches, we can remove the film. And uh, you know, the previous owners everywhere, if you see closely, you can see the little line where the film ends. Um, so it's been protected very well. Somebody took good care of it. So we don't have to touch the fender. I think the fender is good. 
Um, we just need to place the front structural pieces. And once we replace the structural pieces, the uh, front support, and then we can do all the plastics uh, and other pieces. So let's go around the car. The other thing that we can see is the mirror is missing and the front handle looks like this was taken apart. It doesn't seem like there's any damage to it. Might have been already repaired, uh, but definitely the trim pieces that has been removed. And from the car, the other thing that I saw in the pictures, there was uh, some rear damage. Let's see how extensive it is. And it looks like it's just scrapes on the back bumper. We have some scrapes. But as I mentioned before, there's a film here. So maybe when we remove the film, it's not going to be too bad. You know, some of the film, the drifter here. Um, and there's, uh, you know, the line, the paint that came off from the other car. But again, this is mostly on the film. So I think when we remove this film, it's uh, going to be much cleaner. So let's see the rest of it. Um, the car doesn't have any emblems, anything else. The BMW, somebody damaged it. And this was actually damaged when it went on the auction because on the auction picture, it still had all of the BMW logo. So we'll replace the logo. It's not that expensive. And then from around the car, looks okay, it doesn't look like there's any other damage. We're missing some pieces like the fender vents right here, it's missing. So we need some additional parts. And now let's look inside the car. So the car battery works. Uh, let's see if it's going to start or not. We know there's, uh, so the first thing before we got to a point where we can start the car, uh, we didn't see any leaks. And there's no uh, damage that we saw to the radiator or anything else um, that could cause even more damage when we started. So I think we're good to try to start the car. Uh, and these cars, it has the glass package, so it has these uh, controls made out of uh, uh, Swarovski crystals, it's really nice. And you have the power button here. Nice, so the car started, no issues. So what do we have? We have a check engine light. There's a lot of sensors, things disconnected, so we might have to go through that. Um, of course, the parking assist, uh, all those light system warning, because the lights are out, the headlights are out. So, and we see this door is disassembled. Um, and there's a typically camera in the light. So we're missing some pieces, but no airbags deployed. Everything looks good and clean. The back of the car, this is from the door. So we have the door piece here. Um, everything is good. The, there's no really interior damage, we just have to reassemble the door. So that looks really good. Um, the car starts, everything is running. So we can turn it off now. Okay. So there's no extensive damage to the car. So let's check out and see what did we get with the car. Are there any good pieces? And I noticed there are some of the pieces are in the trunk. I already took out any damaged ones, so only the good pieces are left. Let's see what we have and what still we need to buy. So we're gonna open the trunk and see what we have. This should be a ledge somewhere here. There we go. All right. So we have a lot of the trim pieces. Um, this is for, for the fender, this is the bottom of the car. Um, fender covers and trims. This is for the top of the car. We have some of the vents. Break vents. Uh, all these pieces, I looked, they, they look pretty good. We have a few screws. Uh, we're definitely missing a lot of the screws. But we have a little bit from the front of the car and uh, this looks like it's uh, for the radiator. And then we have these, these are the door pieces, so in, in trims. So that's good, so we might be able to reassemble the door. But it gives a lot of the plastic pieces, and that's important because each one of these plastic pieces is a hundred or so dollars. Uh, it's BMW, these pieces are expensive. Uh, in addition to that, um, this is a 2019 BMW X5. So that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge for the parts. 
So one of the challenges with this BMW is that uh, the this is a 40i X5 uh, with M package. It was redesigned in 2019. This is a 2019 model. Meaning, if you're trying to get parts, the used parts that you're trying to get are only available 2019, 2020 model. So it's not a lot of them are available. Uh, so a lot of them will have to be purchased new. So this is going to increase the cost significantly. Uh, but specifically I bought this car because it's going to be the car that we're going to hold on to. Uh, so my wife can drive, I can drive, my, uh, we can drive the kids around. Um, and I like the technology, I really liked everything that comes with BMW. This doesn't have any inside damage, no airbags didn't deploy. So it looks like we'll be able to repair it. Yes, the cost is going to be a little bit higher than if you buy a little bit older one. Not just the price of the car, but the parts especially are probably going to cost double because uh, a lot of them will have to buy new instead of buying uh, used ones since it's uh, just been redesigned, there's not a lot of parts available. Um, but uh, I do have a few other surprises, a few other parts that we found in the, in the car um, that are actually gonna save us some money. But uh, um, you know, for this car, the, the part is a little bit of a challenge. So let's see what else we have. So what we have here are the remains of the original bumper. Um, and that's great because we still have a lot of good pieces on here. We have some of the sensors and these modules. These modules go for about $400 used. So it, it's, uh, it's important that we have these. These are for, for uh, uh, the advanced uh, driving system. This is a sensor to detect other cars. And then there's parking assist sensors that are in here. Um, and all the plastic pieces, so like this piece is good and this is about $100 for this piece, another $50 for this piece. And then this piece, this whole assembly, these pieces, so like, like this little uh, grill, the back piece, there's two pieces here of plastic around it. Each of them is another $70 or so. Um, and then the light is a couple hundred. So we have to have a lot of good pieces that we can use from this car and reassemble it. Uh, we will need a new harness because there's a lot of damage to this one. Even though you could repair it, it'll be a lot of extra work and you don't know how, how good the signals are gonna be once you repair it. So, uh, you know, if we can replace it uh, for a couple of hundred, we can get a new harness. So that's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna reuse this one. But uh, the sensors, a lot of the sensor, like this sensor is unfortunately damaged, as you can see right here. So we'll have to replace it. Um, so basically there's three, there's a total of six sensors, the parking assist sensors. So it looks like we'll get three of them that we can still use. So this one should be still good. This one should be still good. And there's going to be one more on the side right here. These three we're going to use. The other three will need to be replaced. But of course all the grills, plastic, we'll need a new bumper cover. Uh, all the supports, the vents, there's the automatic vents that go in here, the bottom vents everything got damaged um, but one of the important pieces that we have is the left driver headlight that came with the car and the mirror as well for the right uh, passenger side the mirror was there for the disassembled door so we just need to reassemble it we still have the piece and this headlight new costs over four thousand dollars you can get it used for a little bit over a thousand but it's great that we got it and then the other thing that I already ordered and just received, this is the bumper cover. Um, this is a used bumper cover, but the correct color. I don't know what shape is it in. We'll, have, we'll be opening it and seeing it. And it came all the way from California. So uh, let's see how much damage it took during shipping too. But I'm hoping that it doesn't have any cracks. Um, but as you can see, you know, it's not the best idea to ship it across the country because it's, it's gonna get beat up a little bit. Um, but still, it's a, we got it for $400, so we got a good deal. Uh, much cheaper than uh, getting and painting the new ones. If it's in good shape, we can keep it, or we might have to just fix it up a little bit and repaint it. But it's definitely in much better shape than the original one. Uh, it will have to get replaced. So let's open it up and see, and see what shape it is it in. Is it something that we can use? And
from the corner. A few scrapes here and there, uh, not too bad. Just a little bit of the plastic damage. I mean, the worst that we see, we have a little bit here. Uh, this is kind of expected, as you're gonna see a little bit of damage on the bottom side. But uh, here it's just a little bit worse, as you can see from the scrapes. It's not bad. And here, this is I think it's from shipping some of the areas. They get damaged, so, so it needs to be touched up. Uh, maybe we'll just repaint it, the whole thing. And then there's the biggest scrape here. See, they marked it. There's a scrape. And uh, some of the tabs, there's a little bit of damage here on the tab, but it's not bad. There was at least one more tab that I saw. Overall, the rest of these pieces looks in pretty good shape. Again, some of the scratches here on top, and got a few scratches here. But all of it is pretty minor. Might even be able to just touch it up instead of having to redo the whole bumper. Uh, it needs to get washed. A lot of the scraps are just dirt, and I did see that one of the tabs was broken. So. We're gonna look on the other side. And where you can see here, this tab is damaged. But it's not bad, all the other tabs look okay. Um, just scrapes and scratches. It's definitely not a new bumper. It might have been repainted before. There's some paint coming off. See? But it's not bad. We got this bumper on eBay, uh, cost us uh, $400, another 100 for shipping, uh, all the way from California. But since it's, it is the correct color, it's not heavily damaged, so it's definitely usable for us. So I think it was a great deal, uh, considering a new one, uh, unpainted, would be $1,500. So, and that's already with discounts, so it's, it's quite expensive. Uh, but I think we're in good shape to use this bumper and to be able to assemble the car.